Hi, my name is Matt Noragi. In this video, I'll be showing you how to upgrade your Gen 2 Universal's firmware on a Windows XP. If your printer is on already, go ahead and turn it off. Uh, I usually like to use a search protector to do this. Um, we're going to need to insert an upgrade key on the side port of your printer. There's a plastic cap that'll need to be removed. May take some doing, but go ahead and take that off. You'll have to then insert the upgrade key in a slot. You'll need to make sure the writing on the upgrade key that says front is facing the front side of the printer. You need to place that in. Once you do, this is when you want to go ahead and connect the printer to the PC. Take a moment here and make sure that you use the same port on the USB hub and the same port on the PC that was used to install the printer drivers on this PC. Go ahead and make sure the printer is connected on the other side of the USB hub and turn the printer on. We need to now make sure that the printer is showing up properly and is recognized by the PC. Let's right click on the My Computer, go to the Device Manager and expand the Universal Serial Bus Controllers option and you'll see that the printer is showing up there. Depending on your printer, you may see multiple interfaces for your printer listed here. In our case, we only have one. Next step is to launch the FutureLogic DFU application. Go to Programs, then select FutureLogic, then just launch the DFU application. Once the application window opens, down below you may see something about the device connected and in the upper section you should see the printer itself showing up along with its current firmware. Let's select the firmware we want to upgrade the printer with. The file type may vary, it may be an SHA file or a DFU file which is what we've got in this case. Go ahead and select the file and click on open. Next go ahead and click on full upgrade you'll be prompted here to make sure that you have the upgrade key in place. And we do, so we proceed. Now this process can take some time. Be sure not close out of the application until you see the message below that reads printer successfully updated. Once you see that, you can go ahead and close out of the application. I suggest printing out a configuration ticket and just double check that you've got the proper firmware installed. That's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching.